How do we get that incredible learning atmosphere that's at the Berlin Film Festival's children's section to the United States. The larger problem is why we don't have more of those in the United States. I definitely agree about like how international films can help kids sort of feel more connected. We've got this huge country with a large public school system and yet the world is getting smaller, is very globalized and in most of the country I would dare say never interacts with someone who's different than them or speaks another language, etc. So we're trying to provide a service, a product, you know, to take into the school system so hopefully help mitigate some of that. Um, I can't think of any better way to communicate with a generation that's grown up on screens. It, it seems to me that the greatest way to gain empathy for somebody else is to see their lives. Also, would like students to know that there are there are impactful people in each culture in today's day and age with the education system just as a whole I feel like they do a bad job of representing other cultures um, not just black culture but indigenous culture Native American culture every other culture from a distance that same experience that you know, we're dealing with racism, we're dealing with, you know, government structures that are frustrating us as non-voting members of the, of the population. I think to be able to engage with students that are in a very different culture, but having a very similar experience in a lot of ways would be super valuable. It's part of my job, not just to teach students the language, but to really kind of get them to understand the culture and the cultural differences. I'm also intrigued by live students somewhere else that they could interact with that kind of gives them, they have skin in the game now. One of the hardest things I have is how much time I spend finding these resources. Film is a way to connect people in a way that I don't think you can by explanation. People mm -hmm. don't have the ability to have these kind of experiences, so they have them watching a film. They have them being immersed in someone else's life. Test it and get their feedback live or however you do it, and, and it's all, you know, pretty real-time information that we can use to really mold our project. Hollywood is fabulous, but Hollywood just keeps retelling the same stories over and over again. Mm -hmm. And you get a story from India or from Uzbekistan or from, you know, even France. And it, and it has a different cadence. It has a different point of view. It has a different style of, of storytelling. And I think that's so valuable for kids to experience, especially kids that don't have the chance to travel. When I find a pre-made thing that fits my class, it's like, you know, heaven sent. It's, uh, it's pure gold. What we're trying to do is harness the power of stories to educate and to really teach kids and children cultural literacy through international films. When they open their eyes to different cultures, it really is memorable for them. It's not only about learning of different cultures represented on the film, but mm -hmm. also how this film creates knowledge uh, of the world. Who's been to a film festival? Go ahead and raise a hand and, and unmute yourself and tell me what your experience was like. I've been to, like, not, like, the whole time in the Toronto Film Festival, which is, like, a pretty massive film festival. Sure is. Um, but it is true, like, the the mixing of cultures, especially in Canada, where you have, like, uh, the French Canadians and the, like, there's such a mix there of cultures that come from Europe, and then they have movies that come in from Asia, and it's it's really cool to see, especially, like, in Toronto is also such a diverse city so it's cool to see like watch the films but then also like see people in the audience how they take it differently based on where they're from and the message that they get. So. Yeah amazing so Sophia when you watched a film and you heard someone ask a question about it did you have the same question? Were you wondering the same thing? Um, oftentimes I would say yes but then there's always questions that like you think like, oh, I never would have thought of that from my perspective. Also, ich kann nicht sagen, dass ich da irgendeinen Vergleich gefunden habe.
There we are. Welcome back, Andreas. Is everyone back with us? What about jumping from high places, Andreas? What did you learn from watching those little kids jump off? Did you try it? No, 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 not at all, because this is, was one of the reasons why I chose the subject, because I myself, I'm afraid of height. And I said, I want to challenge myself and I'll be up to that platform for a whole day with a professional diver, which, who we see at the beginning. And um, just to see how they deal with that. And in the, in, in the end, my whole team, my film team, they all wanted to jump off the 10 meter platform, but I didn't do it. <laughs> Something that's similar is that like, I'm also really afraid of heights and I don't think I would be able to like make myself be able to jump like by myself I think I definitely need someone to like help me um jump off when I was by the Eiffel Tower I had fear of height and died <laughs> <laughs> and um yes it was a little bit scary for me and I needed what means überwindung to overcome uh, to go higher and yeah that it's strong what i want to ask the audience in hearing the german uh did you hear any words that were familiar dana uh yeah i took german for like a quarter in sixth grade uh -huh. and i heard Gutenberg. And that's the word that stood out to me, where I knew like what the language is being that was being said. Okay, okay, good. How did how did you how do you read the subtitles? What's it like for you when you when you see subtitles and you're watching a film? I usually just I can like see kind of both. So I read at the same time when I like look up. How do you feel? Are you relaxed or does it make you feel a little anxious if the subtitles go by and you haven't finished them no i'm relaxed uh see that's great that's an excellent way to watch a subtitled film is just to sit back and sort of let it happen to you right nice job dana thank you for showing us that telling us that good anybody else have any insights to the way they watch a film with subtitles or they get a little nervous when they see subtitles uh Sometimes I watch the films or a show without um, subtitles because I'm more understanding the story of the film. You know? Oh, that's excellent, Taya. Thank you. Um, have you been watching <laughs> subtitled films for a long time? Uh, yes, I um, I was watching uh, films or shows without subtitles. Be, uh, when I was much younger in the middle school mm. um, because I was uh, because on that way I was studied English also Spanish and I, when I watched uh, telenovelas uh -huh. uh, yes and um, on that way I learned uh, a, a lot of English I'm I I more understand English because I already know some of the words, you know. Okay. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. So you you already use films to support your language learning. Bravo. Thank you all very much.